Update 2 on Cyclone Nil Far, which is currently a Category 4 cyclone in the Arabian Sea with winds of 130 miles per hour and a pressure of 937 millibars. Its position is now 17.8 degrees north, 61.9 degrees east as of 9pm UTC October 28th. Uh, the storm is expected to continue towards the north or north e- uh, northeast, towards the um, Asian continent, eventually making landfall by the looks of things in northwestern India as a tropical storm or a tropical depression. It seems unlikely that the storm will be particularly strong by the time it does make landfall there. Of course, it's passing the coast of Oman right now, could deliver some heavy rainfall there, but wind is not likely to be so much of a concern for the Arabian Peninsula or indeed for Pakistan westwards. It looks like northwestern India will be the main area which will see some heavy winds, uh, strong winds. Sea surface temperatures remain fairly warm around now, 28 degrees or so, uh, maybe slightly higher, uh, but that's likely to that's likely to remain the same pretty much until landfall in India, but it will become a little bit more irrelevant as the wind shear, as you can see on this map here, it will increase rather markedly um, as the storm moves towards the northeast. Um, high amounts of shear, very high indeed, uh, certainly not very good for the storm as it progresses towards the northeast in a day or less than that perhaps. Uh, water vapour, obviously very dry area towards its northwest which will possibly be interfering with the storm. Um, and apart from that, not too much going on there. The CMC computer model uh, takes the storm into Oman, so there still is the possibility of that happening. Also, you can see a new storm forming in the Bay of Bengal and another one over the Philippines as well, which develops in the uh, South China Sea. The GFS is pretty much going with what we're forecasting, possibly moving a bit closer to the Oman before moving towards the northeast and making landfall in northern India. Um, before moving inland and dissipating rather quickly. Also has a storm forming in the Western Pacific. Around the world right now we have the remnants of Hannah in the Atlantic. Invest 93E in the Eastern Pacific is likely to form imminently and Invest 95L in the Atlantic has a 30% chance of developing. Nilofar of course in the uh, Arabian Sea and a new Invest in the Western Pacific 96W. Uh, 70 tropical storms have formed so far around the world in 2014. So far, 39 of those have become Category 1 hurricanes, or their equivalents, around the world, with winds of 74 miles per hour and higher. And 24 have become Category 3 storms with winds of 115 miles per hour or higher, uh, which is not too bad at this stage, uh, just over two months left of the year, with the Southern Hemisphere likely to warm up very soon indeed as well. You can visit Force 13 on any of its six outlets. The website, force13.com, is the main place to be for all the goings on around the world, storm-wise. Of course, the video pages, YouTube and Daily Motion, and the social platform as Facebook and Twitter will also keep you regularly updated. Search Force 13 on all of those, at Force 13 on Twitter, and you can speak to me personally on Skype. Add 413 on there for a tropical weather chat at any time, at least any time I'm, on, I'm online anyway. That obviously makes some sense. Uh, the next update on this storm follows in around 24 hours time. That will be at 9pm UTC October 29th. But for now, that is all on this storm.